What's up guys, welcome back to Winner's Mindset. My name is Rip, I'm here with the legend JDCR. This is our second episode. This episode is gonna be about how to practice. Of course, no one wants to practice, right? It's the thing, it's like, it's like homework or something. Nobody wants to actually go and do this. Uh, but I'm gonna give you guys a definition. Definition is practice is the repetition of an action with the goal of improvement that helps us perform with more ease, speed, and confidence. Now, before we really get into it, you know, of course this video is brought to you guys by Equinox. Make sure you guys check them out at equinoxgg.com. Now, JD, tell me, yep. how do yep. you feel about practice mode? I don't like that. <laughs> <laughs> nobody likes it. Uh, nobody likes it. Nobody want to put work in the game. Yeah, nobody wants to put work in anything, right? It's just yeah, it's yeah. one of those things that's necessary because you have this end goal you want to get to. Uh, yeah. But the process of getting there, you know, the practice you have to put in beforehand, you know, people yeah. either, they're just lazy, they don't want to do it. Uh, but mm -hmm. what about you yourself? Like, uh, you know, let's go back to with the uh, Tekken Tag 2 or something, right? That's kind of when you started coming on the scene more, yeah, traveling that's more. When, yeah, yeah, the Tekken Tag 2, uh, it, it, that was uh, definitely when I when I actually uh, started practicing more. No, not actually, no. I didn't even use practice more in Tekken Tag 2. <laughs> <laughs> never? <laughs> because, uh, okay, this is the story. So I never had PS3 until like, until like maybe in the middle of or, or, or very late of Tekken Tag 2. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because, yeah, because it's like, I think that we, I mean, me, like Koreans, like, like general people, we, PlayStation is not a big culture, okay? Oh, okay. Instead, yeah, we had arcade. So, uh, it is more like natural. We go to arcade and then play more maps, even though I don't know this character, but, but we just, you know, we, we will just like talk, hey, hey, you are good at this character. How do I beat it? Blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So no one, or I, I guess like only a few people, they uh, kind of left maybe with the PlayStations. Okay. For me, I never learned Tekken by, by, by uh, you know, practice putting, mode. Yeah, yeah. Putting my time in, in the practice mode. Like, I see. I'm more like play, play more, more, more. And then sometimes I go to practice mode and then I stream when I stream on my stream, I also like left some characters, but that's for me. That's for like only for like certain situation, only for certain situation or setups. Okay. That even though I kind of know about the setup because I know the mechanic of this game, mm -hmm. but I just want to make sure, or I just want to show the viewers or whatever. Right. But uh, this is definitely boring. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I think. I mean, like, I think most people would rather be playing the game than yeah. uh, going to practice mode to figure things out, right? But there are people, yeah. you know, like I used to talk to Eris all the time and his big thing was, you know, fighting games need better practice mode. You know, I remember he was yelling at Namco about Tekken 5 practice mode uh, and then Tekken 6 won. And finally, you know, mm -hmm. in Tekken Tech 2 and now Tekken 7, we have better practice mode, right? He was, he was always about figuring out exactly what happens in every situation. And for him, I think that was a really important part about learning the game rather than just going to the arcade and saying like, did okay. that work there? Did you act the tech role? Did you hit a button? Are you sure? You know, like he wants to go to practice mode and know that it works 100% of the time. And I think there's a oh, lot of okay. people like that. I think that people like it, but not a lot. Not, a lot. not a lot. Maybe, yeah. Maybe some, yeah. Right. Uh, so of course, you know, the question here is, you know, in this kind of an episode, you know, what are some tips that we can give you guys to help you practice effectively? Uh, and how do you apply those things to, of course, you know, doing better in tournament, whatever. So I actually looked up this video. It's on TED Ed. I'm gonna link it in the video description below. Uh, but they gave you four tips. Number one, focus on the task. So basically turn off your cell phone and everything, right? Just focus on what you're mm -hmm. doing. Number two, mm -hmm. start slowly because coordination is built with repetition. So if you're just rushing into things and you're learning things badly, that's going to mm -hmm. stick with you as well. So you really want to start off slow and learn things correctly. Do you have any examples of anything like that, JD, that you want to start learning slowly and not like rush into it, go full steam ahead and just like take it without going piece by piece? Um, wave dash, man. Wave, wave dash? dash? That's a yeah. hard one, man. <laughs> I no, agree. No, no. Yeah, for wave dash, I was like 15 or 14. I want to learn wave dash. Like, looks so cool, man. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then, so, uh, <laughs> I used to go to arcade and then I spent like one hour every day like thinking like oh maybe tonight I can master wave with this and then, <laughs> <laughs> and then that actually I, I as far as as far as I remember that took me like uh two two or one one year or two years one or two years yeah. but you used to go yeah. to the arcade and you used to just play you never went to like practice mode 
you just go to the arcade and just go like, alright, this is it, I'm, <laughs> I'm just gonna... <laughs> yeah, 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 I was 14, and then I didn't even know, like, PlayStation. Do you think it would have been faster if you had a PlayStation in practice mode to practice it? Ooh. Ooh. I think the answer is yes. <laughs> I think so. Maybe, maybe yes. Maybe yes. <laughs> All right. So let's move on though real quick. Number three, uh, frequent repetition is something that elite performers and athletes do. So, you know, say like UFC fighters, right? They'll go to the gym and practice in the morning and then they'll go back at yeah. night. Right, basketball players, they'll go to the gym in the morning, another one in the afternoon yeah. or something. So something about, you know, having a gap in your practice session, but doing it multiple times per day seems to help people yeah. level up faster, essentially. Uh, number oh, four, okay. there yeah. is uh, practicing, you know, just in your brain, just visually, right? Uh, so okay. they say that once you learn a physical action, you can actually reinforce that action just by visually thinking about it. So. Oh, okay. For me, one of the examples I had was, you know, when I used to drive to tournaments with my friend, he used to be driving, and I used to just hold my controller in my hand because we were going to a tournament, and I used to just think like slide input. So I'd be like, motion, motion, button. I would just imagine that I was doing a slide mix up on people, right? And I would just yeah. practice it all the time, like as fast as I could. And I'd go like, and then sometimes in my head, I would even go like, oh, here comes the mix up. You know, and I, would, I was like, extended uh, crowd stash yeah. while standing too. You know, and I would, I would actually input it with my hands, even though I wasn't plugged into the game or anything. Did you uh, ever do anything like that? I think I think actually that's really important. Yeah, that's a good topic. I mean, this is very uh, useful because, like, um, tournament, uh, you know, one round matters. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So um, I what I do is uh, sometimes I just write it down on my uh, write write some stuff like on my uh, phone. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then sometimes I do like I do like say myself visualize something and then I'm, I'm like oh i have to do this i have to do this i have to do this yeah something like that mm -hmm. that's kind of one example is maybe dragon of Down for two uh like down for two spam random spam like mm -hmm. a hotcake mm -hmm. or maybe uh back for three something like that something okay. something that i don't do usually but i see very important in the game so i'm saying hey <laughs> you spam man half cake half cake mm -hmm. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> right because it's not something you usually do so you have to like remind yourself right yeah, um yeah. so you know that that leads me to of course effective practice right uh practicing mm -hmm. things that you already know is not very helpful to you uh for example you know with you, you jd i'm sure you know nowadays if you're practicing backdash cancel that's kind of like a waste of your time like you already know how no to do way. it right same yeah, thing with yeah. maybe wave dashing Right? Yeah, no one. Yeah, you don't yeah. practice it. Yeah, okay, that's my point, right? Uh, yeah. So so what they say is that for effective practicing, you should target, you know, content or weaknesses that's kind of at mm -hmm. the edge of your own ability. Right? So if you're if you know like, man, I'm getting real close to backdash canceling, you know, I'm almost uh, there, uh, then yeah. that's what you should practice on, right? Uh like for yeah. someone like me at my level right now, like I know I have specific weaknesses against certain characters, like newer characters, right? Say mm. Fakum Ram is brand new. Oh, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah. I know I need to practice that because that's like the edge of yeah. my ability, right? Uh, yeah. What about you? Like, what kind of stuff do you need to practice against nowadays? I feel the same because I feel the same as you. Like, new mm -hmm. characters, Lilo, like, new character experience more. Like, Lilo, if Hakuna, definitely Hakuna. Yeah. And then, it's not like, it's not me. Of course, I have to play it first, but then also I need experience against those characters, you know, new characters. Yeah. Right. Okay. So let's uh, switch gears a little bit. Let's talk about, you know, um, Stuff that you can do inside and outside of the game to help you practice, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. So yeah. let's go first inside the game. What do you think you can do? Yeah. Of course, we have uh, practice mode in fighting games, right? Yeah. And uh, what do you think about that? And how should people yeah. apply uh, these practice fundamentals to fighting games like, with practice mode? The like inside? Yeah. So um, practice mode, of course, they uh, they give you like frame data and then they kind of let you set up some situation. Mm -hmm. And then also, oh yeah, actually, uh, it's also now with the, with the latest patch, it's also like kind of everything, right? Like co correct, correct punishment, and then frame more like I mean more like exactly. Mm -hmm. and then yeah, they even show you the range and everything now too, like how far yeah, away yeah, you can yeah. hit the attack from. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, so all so that stuff can, in you, the game. Yeah, so you can. I would. I don't want to say you no. Know, you don't have to see all the like move in the game, but uh, you can analyze like some you know setup. You don't know. Yeah, like specific examples, right? Um, yeah. And then of course you know for like newer players, 
You know, yeah. people who come to you, they're like, you know, I'm new to this game. You know, what should I practice? You know, what what uh, different things can I train? Like, what do you tell those guys to do in practice mode? Like, like new players, you say? Yeah, like new players. Like people who don't oh. know anything. You know, they're like, I picked up Tekken. Uh, uh, I don't know how to play. There's no uh, tutorials. I have practice uh, mode. What do I go do? You know. <laughs> So I would say just don't go then don't go to uh, practice mode. Yeah. Just play play more and then free the game. <laughs> but then how are they then, gonna know anything? You know. They, I mean, it's a still, it's it's just a, it's a still game. Don't get the uh, too much pressure on it. You, mm -hmm. you know, it's a game. You play you know in any game you play more and then you will understand. That's true, but I feel like yeah. fighting games. There's you know especially like games like Tekken where each character has such a big move list. You know, you need to you need to finally like figure out certain parts of it. You know, otherwise you never go anywhere. You like the first day you pick it up, you're like, all right, I'm just gonna hit button and see what comes out, right? But then yeah. how do you when you go online, you play someone, you see like, oh, this guy's moving like that. How do you move like that? You know, or this guy is, you know, he sidestepped me. How the hell do you do that? You know, you don't know how to do any of these things. So how do you yeah. how do you yeah. practice that? Okay, so anyway, and then I mean, you just say that there are too many move in the move list, yeah. That's why I say don't Maybe. go to practice mode. Yeah. yeah. That's you why say I don't, don't go, go I, practice mode, right? Just go yeah, to, that's to why, play people. Yeah. yeah. Because you play people and then you will notice like very naturally that like what kind of move they are doing to you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then you will be like, oh, he's doing that something, you know, like back this. Oh, that's cool. And then so he's doing like electric. What? Well, okay, that's cool. And then so he's doing like, the combo. Then that's, that's how you learn. That's how I learned. Mm hmm. That's how yeah. you learned what other people do to you, right? But then, how did you yeah. learn how to do those things yourself? I just copy them. But how did you copy without co knowing what it was? You had to look it up somewhere, right? Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, well, of course you have to look it up. The command mm -hmm. and then yeah. yeah. But I mean, in general, you should copy them. So and then you will. I think that it's more kind of easier to understand. Okay. So the specific example lately is that you know Hakunam came out. I never. I practiced like five minutes mm -hmm. in the in practice mode. Okay. I didn't know like his combo. I didn't even know his like screw move. Right. I, I'm like I'm like, and then I'm like I was streaming it. I was streaming it, and I was like, hey guys, this is hella boring. I I don't want to spend my time in practice mode mm -hmm. <laughs> because it's a, the problem too. Two problems is that one is boring. Two is slower to slower to uh learn like hitbox or or like actual good move you know? right actual you, interactions you know? etc yeah, right? yeah 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 mm -hmm. yeah so yeah. i go to online mode and then i get demotion <laughs> 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 but yeah this is my style but i will I, you know i do press uh, i do press uh, like any move to uh my rent to my random opinion like opponent and then I'm thinking, oh, this is good. Or maybe, oh, it's, it's not gonna work. Something like that. You will not, you learn naturally. Yeah. I learned completely different than you. <laughs> it's pretty funny. Oh, okay. So okay. when Fakamram came out, I took, I went to practice mode, right? And I went mm -hmm. through his entire move list and I paid attention mm -hmm. like, you know, what is this? Is this like a 10 frame? Is this natural combo? Is this a counter hit string? Is this a launcher? Okay. Does, and I, I went yeah. through it in that kind of a way, right? And then mm -hmm. I make like notes. I take notes of all that stuff. Uh, wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just like little important stuff. I think like these are his punishers cool. or whatever. And then I go online, wow. and I don't yeah. remember ninety percent of it. You know, like I know, <laughs> That's what I'm saying. right? But but I since I wrote all the notes, like while I'm playing, I look at the notes. I go, what am I not doing? Oh yeah, that move was good. Uh, I tried that one. Yeah, and yeah, so yeah. at that point, I'm I'm mm. kind of where you are when you're already in the game, right? Except I have a list of all this stuff where I've seen what they can do. I'm like, oh yeah, let's try to hit this one more. And then I try them in games and I say, okay, this one's not as good as I thought it was going to be, or yeah, this yeah, move yeah. is better than I thought it was, you know? Okay, so you start, yeah. I start putting together like that too, but I definitely start with any new character in practice mode first. And I just go to the move list and I try to see like, oh, uh -huh. that one looks cool. And cause a lot of times too, when I go to the move list, I see a move that I'm like, oh, what the hell is that? That is cool. I like that move. And when I like a move, I want to use it yeah. more, even if it sucks. You know, like okay. it's just uh, yeah. it's just a cool looking move, right? Yeah, uh, yeah. So that that's my learning process. And then you know okay. when I when I talk about stuff that people can practice in game for like a new player, I think of stuff like that they should practice in game. I think they should do something like you know practice yeah. your back dash. You know, if you're yeah. a Mishima player, practice your wave dashing. Uh, yeah. You know, if you know specific situations about sidestepping, then maybe yeah. practice sidestepping. 
yeah. or as you mentioned, the frame data, there's punishment yeah. training now in Tekken, uh, specific combos even, you know, like say with uh, Leroy, if you hit back three as the launcher, that's a different mm -hmm. combo than all his other combos, right? So you kind of have yeah. to get used to that. Or yeah. even with Leroy, his combo has changed since launch. But originally everyone oh, was yeah. doing down back one three, now they're doing down forward four three. So like, yeah, yeah. Me, I learned the old way, and now to do the new combo, I can't do it. Like, my brain doesn't work. So I got to go to practice mode and, like, force myself to do the new combo, right? Okay. Uh, or even, like, you know, throw breaks. Like, Fakamama has that cheap-ass throw now. Uh, yeah. You know, maybe they'll patch it out. Maybe they won't. But if you want to practice it, you can do that in practice mode. I think those are some of the stuff that you can do in-game uh, yeah. that can help you out, right? Uh, so for yeah. you, you said that, you know, you mainly watch videos. You know, you practice optimal situations, etc. cetera. Um, what else do you do, I guess? Like... You know, oh, with, oh, yeah. with practicing and learning. Yeah, I think that the one thing just Lima like that comes to my mind is that you say that uh, like you talk about the little combo and Fakunang throw the cheap as fuck cheap as yeah throw mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> yeah. So uh, I think that it's kind of actually uh, about muscle memory. Okay. Yeah. So uh, I, I so in terms of you know we are speaking speaking with this I would spend more time like doing most of, about the uh, combos actually like base combos muscle memory but mm -hmm. not really like dragon of or heyachi armor king mate. no right. but uh, of course Lidoi, fakuna mm -hmm. or maybe i would spend more like practicing side step against them even though i know the uh, i know when when or like which way to side step mm -hmm. but still uh probably it will take more like time or maybe it will take more energy in, in the game to uh you know to do naturally even right. unless i have a you know muscle memory exactly yeah mm -hmm. so i was i would i want to practice on like muscle memory things i see that makes yeah, sense yeah like, like so like new yeah. character stuff stuff that you haven't really yeah. learned that you kind of have to build that muscle memory right like the leroy combo yeah. i was talking about it's a great example right uh yeah. another example like defensive muscle memory uh, this mm. is a weird example. It's a law one, so it's easy for me to think of. Uh, you know, like law does dragon hammer forward one plus two, and mm. then he does while standing four afterward, right? Like ninety percent of law yeah. players do that afterwards. But mm -hmm. certain characters, you can just sidestep right, you know, after the while mm -hmm. standing four, and then you duck, mm -hmm. and it'll beat all the DSS options, you know. So yeah. you have to get kind of used to sidestep right duck after the while standing four comes out, and if yeah. you do that you beat like everything. So yeah. it's one of those things that if you're trying to do it in game, it's hard to think of it all the time on the spot. But if you practice mode it for like, just like even short amount, like five minutes or something, you record all the yeah. options, you know, then yeah. it starts building up in your hands and all of a sudden you can do it, yeah. right? Uh, it's the yeah. same thing, even like strings that are mid high, you know, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. like you see it and you're like, oh crap, I know I can duck that. I know I can duck that. And then finally you yeah. do it, right? But if you go to practice yeah. mode, you just do it like practice doing it. And then finally, when you see it, your brain will just force you to react faster uh, because yeah. it's, you know, it's in your hands, essentially. Uh, so what else is there to talk about here? Let's see. We got um, bad habits, not good habits, not just good habits, right? We talk about practicing your good habits, right? Um, but there's yeah. also uh, stuff that you might be doing that are bad habits that you need to practice not doing. Like, oh, okay. So bad habits we do. Yeah. Like, okay. Bad habit we do is um, practicing. Bad habit practicing, like not maybe practicing. Only... So, for example, for example, right? Yeah. Like one of the things you always tell me is stop sliding, right? Oh yeah. Like, you yelled at me for that, right? And the thing yeah. is, I I like sliding because it works so much, you know. <laughs> So yeah. I keep doing it, but it's bad. I know it's bad. I, and like, I get so yeah. overconfident with it that I start doing it from like half a screen away from people. I'm like, my slide is so fast. They're never going to see this coming, even though it's like across the screen. And then I do the <laughs> slide and it doesn't even hit them. It whiffs, you know, and I'm like, yeah, yeah. Ah, crap, you know, it's, it's a bad habit. Yeah. And so I didn't even know I had that bad habit until mm -hmm. that time we were in France together in like 2011, 12 or something, uh, tech okay. and tech two days or whatever, because Bronson told me to stop sliding and that was the first okay. time i heard it and i was like and I, okay. so I would do the slide he was sitting next to me on my match i remember and i would do the slide he'd be like <sighs> he was just let out the noise <laughs> next to me and i'd be like yeah that was bad why did i do that i didn't even realize yeah. i was doing things like that right so i guess okay. my question is you know when you're like if somebody's a new player and they're like how do they find out what their bad habits are it's, it's very difficult to find find out their bad habits Unless you ask others, I think, or unless you actually 
lose like in a match review thing important i think mm -hmm. because you people like i don't know i'm a like i'm a tournament player but maybe like people you know just who want to have fun playing online they probably don't want to realize they are bad habits <laughs> maybe <laughs> that's <laughs> like, a actually, good point yeah because it doesn't matter for them they want to have fun mm -hmm. yeah yeah mm -hmm. okay so bad but there there might be of course bad habit that is like 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 your slide what some move that take take you know that gives you like like winning rate can be dangerous or this is like only thing you want to do in mm -hmm. the uh you know right like yeah like so, a move uh, that's so good that you rely on it too much yeah you kind of yeah. yeah 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 you get to you want to rely on it and then like it happens kind of it happens when it's like especially when you like ranked up and then you will see, oh, wow, my slide was working like this <laughs> rank, but it's not working right here. Mm -hmm. What? Yeah, you're right. Yeah, yeah. That's then... like me versus US players and then versus Koreans. Same thing, you know, like. <laughs> this, yeah, exactly. This is like, now it becomes bad habits. Mm -hmm. And then that you you need to find like, you need to fix it, yeah? Or maybe you want to fix like timing or you want to fix like, you know, you want to do more like mid move more, or maybe you don't want to do it at all. Yeah, the point is that the funny thing is actually is it works for the uh, this level, right? Or and then it and then sometimes it doesn't at all to this level. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so uh, mm -hmm. maybe you you have to. Uh, this is why you don't you 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 can't rely on the uh, um, some moves maybe mm -hmm. i mean i think i yeah. like the the idea you said earlier where you kind of need someone else to point it out to you you know you need someone yeah. who's either seen it from you or maybe from your opponent or something you know from like yeah. if, you, if you're playing your friend you'd be like man what am i what are you beating me with you know like you do, what am i doing wrong you know people always say that when you play them and, you, and they beat you a lot uh they're like man what do i need to do differently what do i do what do i need to do uh, you know, if I'm playing someone in a long set, they ask me that. I'll usually say like, yeah. "Man, well, it seems like you know, you keep doing this. I keep hitting you with this. You know, so yeah. try to fix those things, right?" Yeah, uh, okay. But you know, always having I think matches to watch back is a good way to try to find your thing. You know, yeah. find your yeah. weakness. So if you're streaming or if you're playing a tournament or something, and you can find that footage, and you watch and you see when you lose, right? Like the way I like yeah. to do it, I say like, "Why did I do that?" Like. That's, that looks so obvious. That was such a dumb thing mm -hmm. idea to do. So yeah, when yeah. you see those mistakes of your own, you can kind of erase it, right? Or you have to rely on someone else to tell you, basically. I think those are uh, yeah. good ways to start. Uh, yeah, and then also, you know, you want to watch maybe uh, the video you win, actually. Mm -hmm. Like how, like, of course, you will see your habit in the game. Like whether, even though you win, mm -hmm. but that's your habit, <laughs> you know? <laughs> so, you, well, yeah, okay, it's funny, right? yeah. So I think that we should be careful with this this kind of you know habits. Yeah. Whether it's good or bad, you mean? Oh, for the bad habits, even when you're winning, you mean? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, I get it now. So you're saying when you watch the videos when you're winning, still look yeah. at the habits that you're doing because they might actually be bad habits in the long run, which is good because this is similar to what you were saying about the way that you play the game, right? Like you say that you play very safe generally, right? You, you you're not yeah, the kind yeah. of guy who hits a lot of buttons. You favor yeah. movement instead, right? So even though yeah. you're winning against a lot of people like this, eventually yeah. that could become a bad habit. Yeah. It's not a bad habit, but yeah. it could become a bad habit if somebody yeah. knows to exploit that against you, right? Yeah, that's very cool. You say, yeah. So, uh, so uh, yeah, what's your game? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Definitely. So that's the stuff I think that we can practice in the game for the most part. Let's switch gears and talk about stuff that you can practice outside of the game. Oh, okay. All outside right? of game. Yeah. Yeah. Like so like, you know, the game isn't on, right? Like you just you're out and about, you're sitting on the internet. How do you practice Tekken? <laughs> or any fighting um, game? Um, number one I wanna I like I I used to do a lot is like watch videos. Well well actually we talk just talk about watch watch videos. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> And then watch videos and then build a uh, like community maybe like Discord or stream, you know. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. And then yeah, communicate with them. And then third maybe uh, outside of it, yeah, think, think more like visualize situation, think more mix ups, no like matchups, yeah. Mm -hmm. so, let's yeah, talk maybe... about each of those things a little bit more, right? 
So yeah. I like I like the one you started with, uh, you know, just talking to other people, like whether it's on Discord or oh, Discord, you know maybe yeah. it's on your streams or you know a forum or something. If people still use forums or on Reddit or whatever it is, right? I think that yeah. uh, talking to people about the game for some reason is so helpful to learn more about the game. You know what I mean? Like if I, if I yeah. were to go to like the Law Discord right now, you know, it's like yeah. somebody will always say like, "Man, did you guys notice after this move you can do this thing?" I'm like what like why i don't even use that move you know like for some reason yeah, yeah, just yeah. talking to people is so helpful i feel like yeah so uh, talking to people you get you get more like information on the game but the other thing actually that is very helpful is that that is that that is very important is that you will get motivations yeah mm -hmm. you get motivated even though it's not like let's say even though it's not like you know, you, you are not discussing about matchup or move or like setups, but like any kind of topic about the game is going to motivate you anyway, you know? So this kind of topic right now, this kind of talking you and me, like we are having, it, right. it probably it affects me and it motivates me. To play know? Tekken more, you mean? Yeah, or to think about Tekken more. Mm -hmm. yes. So like any topic about the game. Yeah, that's yeah. cool. That's very yeah. cool. No, I really yeah. like that idea, you know, especially, you know, with how things are now, you know, there's a lot of people that are like negative about patching and balance and all this stuff, which we'll uh, probably talk about in our next video, by the way. Uh, yeah, yeah. But, you know, I think that, like you said, just having just general strategy talk about anything about the game is just a good way to kind of yeah. keep the game in a good light in your own mind, whatever. Yeah, uh, yeah. You said uh, watch videos, of course, right? But I mean, specifically, uh, I remember we were talking about watching pros in match videos before. You know, and you mm -hmm. said something like, "Don't, don't take it seriously." Oh, yeah. You know, just like, oh, yeah, just yeah, copy yeah. it. Like, tell, tell me more about yeah, that. So, uh, okay, watch it videos, but don't take it seriously. But, but you should copy it anyway, because uh, the pros, first of all, put up place, but they know kind of they have no idea why they are doing this stuff. <laughs> What? Yeah. Maybe they do know what they're doing when why they're doing it. But they, okay, they know it, but uh, they don't have like specific reasons or uh, you know mm -hmm. they just do it sometimes like uh, you know like very naturally like uh, muscle memory. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I do electric, but there's no reason I wanna do electric. So I... <laughs> nah, yeah. man, I I, I think so, there is a reason you do it. Yeah, there is a reason probably, but I don't know reason maybe. Mm -hmm. It's too but hard to I break down. Yeah. Yeah, 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 exactly. And then people will take it. Some people like take it seriously. Oh my god, this electric the timing is blah blah, and they want to back this and they back this three <laughs> times, and then maybe two maybe six times. And I'm like, what the heck, man? I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> I just saw him coming, so I throw out an electric. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's it's very hard to to quantify that, right? Like, because I I think the same thing. Like when I do a magic four, right? Like yeah. it's the same thing. Like I a lot of times when I'm about to do a magic four, I know it's gonna hit. You know, and sometimes yeah. I'm like, I don't know. I'm just gonna try and match it for you. Know? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, yeah. Uh, but no, yeah. I, mean, I thought it was so interesting because I heard you. I heard you talk about this before, and uh, you know, you just the fact you said, just watch like a pro player. Like if you want to learn Armor King, right? Watch JDCR yeah. play Armor King. You know, yeah. don't take it seriously. Just do whatever the hell he does. And I was like, yeah. what? Like, yeah. don't even think about it. Just do it the same. Like, he used the yeah. uh, he used sidestep two one. Okay, I'm just gonna use sidestep two one. You know, like, yeah, yeah. like just yeah, do yeah. it. Okay, yeah, just uh, do it. Just do it. Yeah, but and so you think the reason to do that is because it helps you how? It helps you how? Like, it's okay. So this is the thing. Like, all the pros move. They have a kind of uh, like purpose maybe mm -hmm. with, with each move like one move maybe he want to be safe or one move he want to go crazy one move not that good but it's going to work in this very specific situation in tournament or maybe you know mm -hmm. so i used to uh when I, was young, I used to like i just i just copied and then tried myself do, 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 do. and then <laughs> and then kind of i get you know not myself like it helped me like understand maybe more and then it also guaranteed my winning rate as well, improve, you know, at hmm. arcade, in okay. arcade. And then, so, you know, I feel like, I felt like, oh, this is fun, of course. Mm -hmm. And then I love myself. Oh, wow. I feel like I'm improving. Yeah. So uh, it just cut it. <laughs> I mean, I, I, I feel like I must have done something like that at some point, but 
because I stuck with like the same character for so long, like I feel like I've always mm-hmm. just learned the new moves as they come and I kind of come up with my own ideas. And then for me, mm-hmm. it's like if I see, for example, like the jump over thing, I, I always jump over at the wall, right? Everyone knows I do this. It's so stupid. I get a wall spot to do a combo. I jump over, right? It's, it's so stupid. But the only reason mm-hmm. I started is because I saw somebody do this with a different character, you know, in the arcade. Okay. Uh, and it, that's okay. the only thing I've ever like really tried to copy. I was like, oh, somebody jumped over and they did like a down jab into like a launcher. I was like, I was like, oh, can I do something like that? And so I started jumping over people, right? Uh, yeah, yeah. So that like I understand that kind of like just try it, you know, just try, just try it, it yeah. see what happens, you know, react yeah. to it, analyze it yourself, yeah. uh, and come up with your own yeah. strategies based around things like that. Uh, yeah. Let's see. So you talk about match videos, uh, talk with other people in the game. Um, yeah. You said something about visualization, maybe. Yeah, yeah. Think yourself, like. You know, just in your brain, like why even like when people, <laughs> before you go to sleep, <laughs> maybe <laughs> yeah. before you go to work, maybe, and then think like, oh, what is the game? I I just played and think maybe if you don't like, yeah, yeah. I, m- I remember, um, you know, any any game that I've tried to get better at, right? No matter what, wh- whether it was like oh. Tekken or League of Legends or whatever. Yeah. Uh, yeah. When I play a game like that, and I play it so yeah. much. I definitely start yeah. having dreams about it. You know, like yeah, me, too. me too. You too, right? It's crazy. Yeah. And like the weird thing is, in my dreams, it never makes sense. Like it's it's always like, it, you know, I'll do something crazy and it'll work. I'm like, wow, Law has a triple flip. Like that's awesome. You know, three flips. That's amazing. You know, uh, and then yeah. I realize like, oh wait, it's not real. It was a dream. You know, but it's like your okay. brain starts wow. working uh, about stuff in the game even when you're not consciously thinking about it and sometimes yeah I, sometimes I, it's yeah. never happened to me where i came up with a cool idea in my dreams but maybe for you uh, it'll come up with an idea i don't know so uh i was young like when i was young i played a lot like tekken and then starcraft yeah mm-hmm. but definitely starcraft is like video game yeah you you, you need to have you need to have a like, build yeah mm-hmm. so i was when i was not playing starcraft i was thinking like all the builds like myself in, in the brain all the what what word are you saying there Be- Build? How do you like spell that? Up? Oh, build. B- yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Build. All the builds, yeah. yeah. Gotcha. Yeah, all the builds. Yeah. Even though it's like, it's a, it, I'm pretty sure it was pretty stupid, but uh, I <laughs> I like that. I like doing that. Mm-hmm. And then also Tekken, you know, also I was thinking my like combo, whatever. And then, yeah, I think more. And then you talk about dream. And then, so one day it happened to me, I watched the Tekken 6 trailer. Before you know, before Tekken Six, like mm-hmm. in the in the Tekken Five tier area, yeah. Right. I still remember that I had a dream about Tekken Six, the bound. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome, dude. Yeah. That is super cool. Yeah. yeah. Oh man, that 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 that's how you know you're like a super fan. You know, you you loved the game back then. You're dreaming yeah, yeah, about yeah. the future games yeah. and stuff, <laughs> and the future I mechanics. Also, I also trailer. Oh wow! And then new feature in my dream. Yeah. The new feature in my dreams. I remember, yeah. you know, it was at a. I went to SBO. I forget what year it was. 2010, I think, with Eris and Sukin, and that was the year that they debuted Tekken Tag Two gameplay, where they showed the tag in mechanics and everything. But they had no life uh-huh. bars or anything, right? That trailer, and it just showed okay. all the tag stuff. And we're like, what the hell is happening? Everyone's like losing their mind, you know? Like, oh man, you remind me like good memories, dude. Such yeah. good memories. Uh, but yeah, of course, you know. Uh, I think that's most most of the stuff for practicing in and outside of the game, you know. But of yeah. course, when people are are practicing so much, uh, mm-hmm. you know, they they hit that point where they they just they they don't seem to improve anymore, right? They start losing hope, uh, you know. Uh, and you know, yeah. I, and I was thinking earlier when we were talking right now, uh, so many people ask that question, you know, hey man, I'm stuck in green ranks. How do I get out of green ranks? You know, and like. For okay. us, at least for me, it's just, it's such a hard question to answer, right? And I think a lot of that has yeah. to go back to finding your own bad habits and solving those problems, right? But to yeah. someone who has kind of lost their passion, uh, you know, mm-hmm. because they're stuck, you know, what do you tell those people? Wow. This is actually very difficult to give them advice mm-hmm. because uh, it's kind of not, you know, of course, we can, we can tell them, like, you, you need to go to practice some more <laughs> or you need to like learn about other characters but th- this kind of stuff sounds like too so stupid not <laughs> 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 they don't want to do it this yeah. is boring yeah mm-hmm. it but, is and then yeah it is so uh, i don't want to say it but uh maybe i would say i would rather say maybe just uh enjoy the game maybe mm. yeah. yeah try and to find then, the fun in the game 
yeah, and don't, don't be afraid of trying new things or or even though you don't want to do try new things, just keep keep what you're doing. Yeah, mm -hmm. and then and then it's very natural that they are afraid of losing their rank. So, for example, I reached Super Diamond with Akuma in Street Fighter like two years ago last year. I was so afraid of playing rank more. <laughs> And then at the same time, I don't want to go to that because it's so boring. Yeah. <laughs> so what did you do? You just stop playing? I just stopped playing. <laughs> You're a scrub, dude. <laughs> what the hell? I, I don't want to play the game alone in my room right here. I don't want to go to practice more than that myself. No, I don't want to do that. I just like the rank. Spot okay. Diamond in Akuma. Yeah. Okay. And then I Congrats. reached. Uh, <laughs> I reached also like one month ago, maybe. I reached the S rank with the uh, Charlotte in the Grand Blue, yeah. Mm -hmm. and that's when I stopped playing Grand Blue. <laughs> <laughs> this isn't helpful, JD. Come on, you're supposed to be helping people. Okay, look. The question was, <laughs> you know, when people reach a point where okay. they where they can't get better, you know, okay. like that, like, and they're stuck there, you know, and you lose your passion for the game, right? Um, I'm saying that it's been natural. Sure. So I, I agree. Yeah. And I, I think when people reach that, I think that they should take a break. I think a lot of yeah. people don't take a break from the game. Like, take a break for two weeks, a month, you know? Like, yeah. Tekken yeah. is a game yeah. that you can't, uh, at least for me when I was learning it, I couldn't continue going nonstop. You know, I had to, like, stop occasionally. You know, even if it's just, yeah. like, for, like, five days a week, you know, because I used to play every day back then, right? When yeah. I was learning to compete. Yeah. Uh, and then I would just take off, like, a week, and I felt like I was so rusty after that, right? Uh, okay. But taking that time off when you come back, you always feel way better. So I always uh, recommend yeah, yeah, people yeah. take breaks. Um, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. Going back to just really quick, going back to you know people losing their passion for the game. Has that ever happened to you specifically in any of the Tekkens? Like, because obviously, I mean, I mean, okay, okay. People, this question, the uh, the answer of the uh, last question mm -hmm. is like take a break, yeah, yeah. And then I I I'm just I just feel like this is kind of irresponsible, maybe. Because I know how to break the game, any fighting game. Because mm -hmm. I know frame data, I know hitbox, what it is, mm -hmm. and I know how to let myself in any game. Actually, I know how to set up the situation. Okay. But uh, if like the players wanna do improve, then I will, of course, it's gonna help them. Yeah. So uh, yeah, take a break and then take it easy and then practice more. Maybe yeah. Yeah, and then and I then. It's just interesting, just the way you answered. Now you got me talking about this again. But, you know, because wow. you said that you can break down the game because you already understand frame data. You understand yeah. hurtbox, hitboxes. You know how to set up the yeah. situations where you can take advantage of those things, right? Yeah. And I think yeah. a lot of new players, they don't know how to do all that yet, right? So I think that goes back to yeah. kind of like the game theory stuff we were talking about last episode. Uh, uh, yeah, you know, yeah. and I think like understand the ratios and all your options in the game. You know, there's a lot of learning yeah. that goes into uh, becoming a master at anything, essentially, right? Uh, yeah. So, yeah, I mean... Uh, on your path to becoming as good as you are now, you know, yeah. were, were there times when you lost your passion for Tekken? Oh, like many times, a lot. Many times? I thought you were going to say like maybe one time or something. <laughs> like, huh? Many times, okay. Yeah, yeah, okay. So many. So, I mean, I, I've been playing this game very long, maybe since 2005, maybe? Four, like mm -hmm. oh, two, two thousand two, maybe two thousand three. Mm -hmm. I was I lost passion maybe for like a few times, like five, four, four, three, four, five times maybe. Wow. Yeah. yeah. No, I mean, I I know. Do you do you, wait? Do you remember specifically like what game it was in? Which Tekken? In like... any in every Tekken. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I can say I can say Tekken Tech Two, Tekken Seven. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, so in Tekken Seven, that's a good one. Like, because obviously you were super on top in the early days of Tekken Seven. When did you like kind of get burned out or lose passion in that? I didn't play the the uh, the thing. I think I do is that I don't play the earliest version of the games mm -hmm. because it's not like I don't like the game. It's not like okay, Tekken Seven earliest version. I don't have any reason to play this game. I didn't. Why? Because I didn't. I didn't. You know. I didn't enjoy it. I liked the game, but I just didn't enjoy it. I I just enjoyed more other stuff, like maybe like hanging out with the friends, maybe sometimes studying, maybe sometimes, you know, like other games sometimes. Mm -hmm. No, not other games, but, you know, just like maybe chilling or something. Other things in life, basically. 
right? It's not yeah. even related to the game at that point. Yeah, but yeah. I mean, for for me, I remember very specifically when Tekken six point was out. You know, I yeah. started competing in Tekken five. Dr. I kept on playing. Lost sucked. Uh, Tekken six point yeah. came out, and I remember just somewhere in the arcades, I was like, I don't care anymore. Yeah, you know, I just, I just didn't care. Like I've been doing it for like so long, five, six years, whatever it was. I was just like, yeah, I think I'm, I'm kind of over it. You know, I'm gonna go program something mm-hmm. or something. I took like six okay. months off. I came back, you know, occasionally to play. And then finally, you know, that ended up being the game I was like the best at, you know, in terms of my own self, right? Uh, so yeah. it's just sometimes, you know, taking a break really helps, dude. Uh, I don't know. Anything else you want to say about practicing? Mm. Practicing. I think just don't don't get pressure too much, you know. Mm. Like don't and put then... too much pressure on yourself even? Is that what you mean by that? Or you mean don't get pressured with uh, spending time to practice. What's the difference? <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't sure which one you were saying. Okay, don't get pressure. Ah, uh, this is difficult. I, I, okay, maybe just enjoy the game the way you want to do, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. All right, guys. So with that, I'm going to leave you with this. You guys have all heard about, you know, 10,000 hours is what it takes to master any skill out there, right? This is a myth, okay? It doesn't matter. Uh, Basically, if you read up on it, there is a lot of studies that show you why this is kind of like BS, essentially. Uh, But there was a study for chess masters, essentially, and these guys tested how long it took uh, these guys to reach a master level in chess. And some guys took 728 hours. Other people took 16,000 hours. So that's very different than 10,000, right? Uh, A lot of that has to deal with, you know, being effective with your practice time, right? So, you know, I think that Ted Ted Ed video that I linked earlier, it's going to be in the video description below. Make sure you guys check that out. It's got four good tips for you guys on how to practice. You guys heard JDCR here talking about a lot of the ways that he practices for Tekken or, you know, not even using practice mode, just playing the game or watching match videos, talk with people, etc. I think there's a lot of good stuff uh, that you guys can pick up from here. Hopefully this video helped you guys. Of course, make sure you guys check out equinoxgg.com. That's Equinox. Without them, this video would not be possible. And if you guys want to follow us, check out down below. We've got all our Twitter and our Twitch stuff there. We both stream. We're on Twitter. Very active as well. So until next time, we'll see you guys later. Peace. Oh, hey. Hey. Ask them their opinion or any further questions. (laughs) Leave a comment. Thank you. Leave a comment down below. We'll catch you guys next time. Peace. Bye. (laughs) That was good. That was good.